So something to note with distinct is that distinct operates on all values in a row. So for example, the last video I showed you how to, to do distinct on a single column, and generally that's what we're doing, but, but it is quite possible to say distinct on more than one column value at the same time. And what SQL Server, what SQL is defined to do at that point is to compare the rows as, as full rows of data. For example, notice we have supplier ID, category ID, and Chai and Chang set, um, share the same supplier ID and can category ID. Aniseed syrup, these two, well, this one and two is different from one and one up here, and it's also different from two and two down here. But this two and two is the same as this two and two down there. So, so basically when I say distinct, I'm comparing all values in the select list. So, so let's go up here to the query. If I say distinct on here, and I run it, that's, that's pretty much going to do nothing. Because what it does is it compares each value in each row to every value in the other rows to determine distinctness. So notice that no two rows have the same product ID because the ID is the distinct uh, identifier of this table. Um, so, so basically saying splat is kind of useless in this scenario. But, but let's go back to the supplier ID category ID example. Supplier ID category ID. And before I say distinct, let's just let's just select them straight up. Highlight, run. I don't need a highlight and run it. I can just run it. Um, so here we go. I've just sliced these two columns out. And notice our count here at the bottom is 77 because that's that's how many products are in our table. And now I'm going to drop distinct out here and rerun the query. Notice we don't we no longer have the same one and one. We only have one version of the one and one row. <laughs> Say that 20 times. And then uh, one and two was naturally distinct as before. But then we had multiple two and twos, remember? But because we said distinct, it, it compared the two and two to the other two and twos and decided to only pull one of those. Notice that uh, this two here is equal to the value of this two here. But that does not mean these two rows are identical because this one does not match this too. So literally, it can, when we say distinct, SQL Server, it does, uh, it's called relational, a little bit of a relational algebra if you want to go Google and look that up. But essentially it says, okay, one's not equal to two, so thus this row is unique from this row. So there's a little uh, got you with the distinct and multiple columns or multiple values.